Welcome Viola Eva to IMG Courses. How are you going? Hey Andy, good to see you. I am excited to be here. That's excellent. We are excited to have you because you are producing an amazing course based on all of your SEO and content marketing experience to date called the Content Marketing Formula. And uh, we're going to be releasing that in uh, a couple of weeks time inside of IMG. So this is a, a little preview to what's going to happen inside of the training series. And I've got a few questions and uh, then I think you're going to take us through a little example of what you're going to be teaching us. Right. Great. Okay. So uh, for those that don't know you, could we uh, find out a few interesting things about your uh, experience and uh, what you're known for? Right. So my name is Viola. I live in Berlin. I run a digital marketing agency called Flow SEO, where we provide SEO services to digital businesses. And I basically I talk about and teach about content marketing and SEO and um, have been traveling the world, not this year, but the years before doing so. And very much looking forward to kind of like sharing what we do with our clients and what's working inside the training. And what previous stages have you been on that have been highlights for you? Um, probably my first kind of like big win that I really, really loved was a couple of years ago when I was speaking for Ungagged in Las Vegas. Afterwards, I was f uh, speaking for them again in London. I've been spoken at PubCon, um, Webinale here in Berlin, WordCamp Europe, um, a bunch of stuff, basically. Right, okay. I'm a little bit sad that you didn't mention the Tech Open Air presentation that we did together a few years ago. That is true. We also spoke at Tech Open Air in Berlin together. Uh, that was great fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Tack that on at the end. So. What are the biggest things that students are going to take away from the content marketing formula, do you think? Right. Basically, what I want to do is I want to make peace between SEOs and content marketers because I do think SEO is one of the ultimate accelerators for content marketing and they make a perfect marriage. And somehow we as SEOs sometimes don't really like the content marketers and we're kind of like stuck in our ways of writing long form content and optimizing for keywords. and you know, some SEOs have been punished quite a bit in the last few years with the algorithm updates because these pages are not satisfying search intent anymore. So I want to make sure that IMG community and um, that we agree on the principles of content marketing and how that can make you a better SEO uh, moving forward. Okay. And how has this method actually helped you in your job and succeeding in the goals that you have for your clients? I mean, essentially, I would say we do three things, right? We, we, we help them create content, we help them optimize content, and then we do link acquisition. And I was just doing a yearly report for a client yesterday, and I realized that out of their 50 traffic driving pages, 17 were pages that we've created this year for them. So it's an approach that really, really works, but it's also an approach that makes clients happy and it makes sure that you build friendships with the marketing managers, content creators, and brand teams, because you're not just talking about a, a keywords and taking a more holistic approach. And also because you really factor in organic conversion and what, what are we actually doing with those visitors and eyeballs and how do we convert them into a prospect or lead? Sounds genius. So uh, in terms of the level that you're going to open to inside of the course, who, who's going to get the most out of this? Is it um, beginners? Is it all levels? Is it um, writers? Right. I mean, there's probably a little bit um, for everyone in there. I would say this is a strategic content marketing training. This is not a copywriting training, right? So if you're a writer and you want to become a better copywriter, this is not for you. This is more how do we strategically think about content and create the right types of pieces. And I would say mo the people who will like this most are kind of like intermediary, intermediate SEOs that know how to do keyword research, maybe know how to do, you know, a content calendar based on keywords, but that want to take it to the next level and get an angle through their pieces and make those content pieces better. If you're really, really technical, um, and you're not lo loving content so much normally, I think you will like it because it will broaden your horizon and, and bring some marketing psychology principles to your thinking and you're gonna enjoy that as well. Great, and everyone loves to bring a, a good formula into the game as well. Yeah, 
I mean, that's the other thing, right? Once you know what you're doing, it's, it's really a step-by-step -step process that you can roll out like time and time over again. I usually do quarterly iterations with clients and then it also gives the writing formula um, to, to, to think about content creation. And that's something that you can do yourself or give to a content team to execute as well. Great, okay. So there's something from inside the training that you wanted to take us through today quickly. All right, can you see my screen? Yes. Perfect. All right, so here's where we come back. So what I wanna talk about is kind of like the first strategic mistake I think that many SEOs make is that when, when they think about content, they mainly think about content length, internal links, keywords, topics to use. And I do that too. You know, I use Page Optimizer Pro, I use Quora, et cetera, and I think it's very valuable. But then basically, from a user perspective, I want you to be very clear that all that raw information of stuff that you know and knowledge that you've gathered or that your content writer has gathered is you want to turn it into a list and you really want to take your thinking upside down. And basically, I want to encourage you to think in the pyramid principle, which is used in executive summaries. This is used in newspaper articles, and it's also copywriting best practices. And the idea is that you want to give your main message and the first most important bit of information in the headline one and in the first paragraph. And we all know this SEO articles where it starts with what is something, how to do something, and you have to scroll through 600 words before finding the tip that you're looking for. So I encourage you to put the tip on the top. And my reasoning behind this is also, this is my tinfoil hat theory, is Google put the featured snippet up because it was over SEOs writing so long content and it's just not good user experience and people just want a short snappy answer. So SEOs have not been doing it. So Google is forcing us into it with the featured snippet. So that should tell you something. But basically I want to say pyramid presenting, start all your articles with the main message, the thing that people came for, then go into the reasons, then examples and then details and data. Or a different way to say that is satisfy intent, then give them a reason to click to stay or to scroll deeper and then go into the in-depth information if you want to be successful at not just ranking, but also converting and engaging visitors. Or yet a third way to think about this is bite snack meal, right? Give them the short bite for the scanners, for the people who don't have time, then a little snack with a little bit more information. And then for the people who are really hooked and nerdy, you want to give them meal. So a quick this is kind of like classic-ish example. I like the co-schedule blog is they are like fun and easy headline templates. They rank for that. And then they also have a call to action right away. And basically they give you tips right away. So this is kind of like, I would say a classic approach. I think a little bit more content marketing, more sophisticated approach is this. This is toggle free invoice template. If you're looking for a free invoice template. Who wants to read 2000 words about free invoice template? We don't, which is why toggle has a big red button here saying get template and you actually get a template, right? They're satisfying search intent right away and they're helping you get what you want. And now the last thing in terms of giving people what they want and meeting search intent first is a page that really irritates SEOs sometimes is you type in online timer and you get an online timer because that's what you've been looking for, not a text about online timer. And even more so, there's not a ton of content on this page. So I basically, want to open your eyes to giving the most important information first, making that a principle of your thinking and content creation and also a principle of success because th that's what a lot of the algorithm updates have been about in the last two years is meeting search intent, playing with different content types, giving people what they want. And this is what Google needs to do if they want to do their job right at being, being a search engine that really gives valuable answers. So if you can start thinking about that also in your content creation, you're going to be a lot more successful. So the short tip pyramid principle, give the first and most important information in the first paragraph and then see the magic unfold from there. Amazing. I love it. Yeah. I read a little bit about the lead in a book some time ago, which gave the example of uh, a teacher in a school who was uh, teaching journalism and he explained a long story. Uh, essentially about there was uh, going to be a strike and the, the um, teachers were going to be at a protest and all this detail 
and then asked the students what what was the lead what was the most important piece of information out of everything I said and there was people saying uh, there's going to be a teacher's strike uh, there's uh, all these different things and he was like no the lead is there's no school tomorrow that's all you need to know <laughs> And, 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 and this is the thing is like we tend to bury the lead and and I think actually so this is helps for interacting with your customers on the website but it also helps for interacting with your client if you start putting on your SEO report put organic conversion as the first thing and that is up they don't even have to look at all the rest and then the people who have time they can go into organic traffic and rankings and backlinks etc but you want to start with organic conversion you want to start with what people want and that's the marketing psychology behind it and the thing is good marketing doesn't feel like marketing people just realize like oh, i'm super happy and satisfied with that interaction i'm in there's, there's a principle of reciprocity you gave them something so they're kind of hooked to reciprocate and do something, reciprocate and do something for you back, and, and and so you're catching them on that level. And this is why, you know, most important information is really what you want to have on the top. I love it. Yeah, attention recipe bloggers. <laughs> Hope you're listening. I'm sick of reading about the history of muffins just to get my recipe. <laughs> and, and exactly right. So, and I think the recipe should be on the top. 100%. And well, then you can have, you know, recipe variations and your personal history with the recipe on the bottom. I think that's totally fine. But, you know, give, give us this recipe. I totally understand your horror. And I think a lot of this stuff like invoice template, online timer, etc. Whenever people are looking to do something, they, they, they really, they just want to do it, you know. Yes, they might also be looking for a... a upgrade to some small business accounting software in the case of uh, one of our clients as well so you can always put a call to action in there too and maybe get a trial but satisfying the searcher intent first and foremost yep agreed sweet well so this is the kind of stuff that we're going to talk about in the training um, basically we're going to talk about what is content marketing and why does it fit so well with seo and so the first lesson is about that. And mainly what I want to talk about is content libraries and how we can rethink a block role sorted by date into something that's actually sorted by relevance. So that's the first one. The second one, I'm going to teach the, the content writing formula. How do we turn all the things that we know or have researched into a nice piece of content like this? And then thirdly, we're going to talk about signups and lead generation, like, like I showed in the first example, where they straight away give you a template in exchange for your email address. What are some creative ways for actually turning organic eyeballs into a lead or a prospect or customers? It sounds amazing. So we are going to be putting this out at the start of January. Uh, so... I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, I think you're going to be inside the community if people have got questions in the meantime, right, Viola? Yeah, feel free to tag me and, and we can start chatting already. Okay. Well, thanks very much for joining us. Any last words? Well, thank you, Andy. Thank you, IMG. And I have mean, I've learned so much from you and from Kyle and Ted, and I'm super stoked to be here and share some of the things that I do and super glad to be part of the community and looking forward to getting the conversation started. Awesome. Thank you.